I'll be here on Tuesday. I'll be back on duty at the fire station, but I'll be here Monday. But more likely, Heather will be here. Good. 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 Go to the tackle shop. Yeah, leave them here. They'll be back at one. They have to go up to uh, Vero's uh, flash out closing up there. I'll take them. Okay, Mark, you want to come up here? Yeah, I'll come up here. Then what I do is I hold them for a ransom. You make them put out here. Thank you. How was your shift the other day? Yeah, it was a weird day. I was on the engine, riding backwards. And uh, we went on a cardiac call at 8.30 with the rescue and they canceled us on the way in. <clears throat> Cause they send us priority three. And then half the time it ain't a fucking cardiac call anyhow. Woman was standing at the door with her baggage like we always get. Uh, we went back to the station and we worked around the station. We had our budget meeting at 11. So we were cleaning equipment, you know, just making sure everything was kind of juiced up. Kaufman's tobacco, what's up, Mama? Okay. Up a girl? Go get them, girl. Shop and talk. You need some money? All right. Okay. So you want to get back. So dinner time came. Usually if I set a fucking plate on the table, we're gone. You know how that is. It's almost fucking normal. Eleven thirty, rescue went out. They transported to Longwood. They get banged out three times trying to get back to the station. Got back around four. I heard one of them get in bed. And then the alarm went off again and they went back out for a sick person. And we saw them around 6.45 when we were getting up. And it was like, they looked like hell and we rolled one time on the engine, and that is in its own, that's scary. Of course, I'm off tomorrow, so they'll get a fucking hammer tomorrow, hopefully. And the shift on sea shift when we went in, yeah. we are leaving the guys, had 23 runs. Wow. We said, well, hell, thanks. You took every fucking one of them to the hospital, so we didn't have to fucking do that. But that's just sometimes how it works, and you're like sitting there staring at each other going, you know, what the hell? Because if it's a day that we're spending all day, the budget meeting went real well. We got a couple of chairs that we were asking for, TV. We, they put our TV, or put our station in the ground in 90, March of 99, and never put the TV in. Okay, we had a TV, you know, from the other station. Yeah. And uh, then the guys went back to the, half of our team went back to Station 10. Station 10 was on Dalton and Port St. Lucie Boulevard. And they're the hazmat side, and we were technical rescue side. That's how they split us up. And then we gained some people that you know wanted to become special ops. So they went through a lot of schooling, and we did a lot of on-the-job stuff too. But uh, as it went, we had guys here and there bring in a TV from time to time. We gradually got a little bit bigger. And the one we got now is a big old stinking floor model Sony, but the only there's no the controls on it don't work, 
So we've got that movie theater box. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like mm -hmm. a thin line across half of the TV. In mm -hmm. the well, we've been asking for three years for a TV. They keep balking at it. And uh, one of the chiefs, the chief, his son is our engineer, and we invited him over for dinner, and we made sure we put the chair in the middle that was fucking broke down in the middle, and the TV was in that box thing, and we were sitting there after TV having some coffee and some, we had made a, a batch of homemade ice cream. And uh, he goes, God, this chair's fucked up. He says, yeah, that's, we're dealing with it. He says, oh, that's fucked up. And I says, well, it's your budget. <laughs> So when they walked in, well, they they walked in with uh, shop guys and uh, finance girls, and I mean there was like 13 of them. I had coffee and crumpets. I, I call them. I said these are crumpets, and they go, "What are they?" I said, "They're crumpets. It's biscotti. Just call them crumpets." Just, you know, <laughs> coffee and crumpets. That's what we're having this morning. We're doing the English thing. So they're laughing.